The 4th of July just around the corner and travel rush already heating up. Millions of Americans preparing to get out of town. And airports are already packed at PHL International. TSA is prepared for 40,000 people to pass mm. through checkpoints every day. That's up from the normal 33,000. Thursday night, Rick and Shari are off. I'm John Paul along with Christy Aletto. And the big story on Action News is the 4th of July travel season ready for takeoff. TSA expects the summer surge to swell security checkpoints nationwide, including at Philadelphia International. Action News reporter Trish Hartman is live along the AC Expressway with more on the early travel rush. Trish. That's right, Christy. We are getting ready for a very busy stretch for travelers, both in the air and by car. We are live along the Atlantic City Expressway. We will give you a look. Not looking too bad at this point. Lots of people are headed down the shore. Records are already being broken, especially at the airport. So if you're packing your bags right now, just know that a lot of other people are doing the same thing. The number one tip that we heard today, leave early. People filed through the security checkpoint at Philadelphia International Airport. Officials are expecting high numbers as 4th of July approaches. TSA is prepared for the highest traveler volumes that our agency has ever seen. And they want passengers to come prepared. TSA officials stress that firearms are not permitted through security checkpoints and must be properly stowed in checked baggage. They also showed us items confiscated within an hour at Philadelphia International Airport. Plenty of liquids in containers larger than three ounces, also a tiny golf club and pocket knives. And you know, something like this can travel. The proper way to do it is to put it in your uh, check bag. As airports brace for the crush of people, severe weather is always a threat to the schedule. It would appear that there were too many planes in the air here around Philadelphia, so our flight got delayed about an hour and a half. and. A lot of people miss their connections. Last night, severe weather caused delays and cancellations. Probably the biggest challenge we had last night was flights diverting into here from other airports. Uh, we ended up with 10 flights being diverted into here from the New York airports that could not get in. Officials with American Airlines, the largest carrier in Philadelphia, say they're adding 550 flights over the next few days to make sure they can handle the holiday surge. AAA is projecting nearly 1 million Philadelphia area residents will travel 50 miles or more over the 4th of July travel period. And 810,000 of them will be traveling by car. We're going to Atlantic City. The Malpito family stopped for a break along the Atlantic City Expressway on a mission to beat the traffic as they start their getaway. We decided to go on a Thursday for the fact of the traffic not being too bad. And it hasn't been. It's been really nice. Now, AAA says with many people still taking advantage of remote work flexibility, this is expected to be one of the busiest 4th of July weeks ever. Now, some of the worst days for travel in major uh, cities like Philadelphia, Wednesday, July 3rd, when everyone is leaving, and Sunday, July 7th, when everyone is coming back. We're live along the AC Expressway, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Yeah, you got to have a plan. All right, Trish, thank you.